now we've got a fresh rawl that um, with an SMC hanger that I'm going to remove, and let's go through the steps of doing that. Uh, first step, I'm going to loosen it off about eighth to a quarter inch. If I if I remove this until the bolt slips out of the hole, I'll know what I've just done is to unscrew this until you know this this nut at the back of the hole comes off the bolt. What I want to do is to loosen it just enough so that although right now it's jammed in like that, mm -hmm. I can pound on this with a hammer and push that, mm -hmm. that to the yeah. back of the hole, yeah. and then this part is no longer being wedged. Right. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do right here. If I just... yeah, There. So now this wiggles a lot more. That means the cone at the back is now out of the sleeve. How did you know? Did you feel something? Yeah, you can feel it kind of give in. Okay. Um, as that happens. So now I can, you know, I can unscrew this by hand even and take this part out. Now these two sleeves here at the front don't expand whenever the thing is installed. So you can sometimes pull them out like that. Those parts are out. This part down here is still in there. Let's see. Give me my hook tool. Two different versions of a hook tool that, when you're trying to remove the sleeve, this is the part, you know, you can reach in and grab that little triangular space and pull it out. We'll see if that works. So I'm reaching in there. Oh, easy. Because this one's not rusted. <laughs> so we didn't have to do method number two. I'm going to shove that back down in the hole and do method two. Um, so, if it doesn't come out willingly, which often is the case, we'll use a tap tool. This is a 3 8 tap. It's, uh, it's a really, uh, it's not your, you know, garden variety tap, which would look like this. These break really easily. Um, they're, just, they're just too fragile. This is the same thread pattern but it's, it's a really heavy duty spiral tap that, that uh, is better suited for the job. Um, yeah, it's one that's self-cleaning. It, it pulls the, uh, the metal shavings out of the hole. This probably isn't gonna work because the, the thing isn't actually wedged, but I'll kind of walk through the steps. Um, if this sleeve were stuck down in the hole, I'd be, on, I'd be doing this on this end of it. Um, you're cutting threads on the inside of that so that when you come back later with a 3 8 draw stud, which would look like this, then you thread the draw stud into those, those new threads, and then you can use the green lead to pull this, this thing out. Let's see if that makes sense. And so this, you know, you're going to turn. I'm trying to make it bite. It may just spin on us. Oh, actually, it's going to cut threads, I think. Um, you go about a quarter to half a turn and then back it up a full half turn. Quarter turn, back up a full turn. And the reason you do that when you're tapping something is there's a curl of metal that builds up on the leading edge of the, the tap tool. And you'll get increasing force. And if you just keep going, you can break the tap. Um, when you go backwards one quarter to half turn, the previous... Uh, you know, trailing edge knocks off that curl and you'll notice that it's a lot easier to turn when you go forward again. And so forward, back half, forward, back half, and just keep doing that and don't just try to, you know, plow through it. This is not a tool you can use in a ham-handed fashion or you will break it and then you're done because it's not something you can drill through. Um, and, you know, let's see, I bet I could pull the sleeve out with this. So you can see as it cuts it kind of mangled the sleeve as well but it was cutting threads on the interior of this and um, I may or may not be able to even demonstrate with this now. I've probably mangled it too much. Try to get that off. Okay. You can see those on the inside. And 
any 3 8 bolt you could screw into that then and then use that to pull it out. Um, and the Greenlee demonstration from the other bolt removal is, is identical to this. You just use a, uh, a little piece of a threaded rod instead of having a stud ready made for you. Okay, so to remove the cone, this is at the bottom of the hole now. It's the last thing we have to remove. And this would screw into it. And if I put this on there, I can use a Funkness device to pull that out. Alternately, um, if you don't have this tool, you can just take the original bolt and um, put a trash hanger on it. Switch that. Drop that in, screw it into the cone, and use the Funkness device on this to pull that out. So this is a 3 8 draw stud, but I tapped it at 5 16 on this end. So it will screw into a cone, which is kind of useful because the hole is already 3 8 and just one end of it is like that. So you could use either end of this in the Greenlee and it's a two-purpose tool uh, just by tapping one end smaller. This is our heavy-duty Funkness device. Let's see if we can do some damage. You out there in video land, watch your eyes. Oh. Oh, that was so hard. Easy peasy. <laughs> so it rips the cone right out.